everybody, it's Joy with JoysLife.com and today I'd like to welcome you to a new episode of 52. Well, we're going to use a two liter bottle today and fill it with things to make a fun little gift. It's sort of like a puzzle really because what we're going to do is have the bottle stay intact, well seemingly, we'll have the lid on the top just like that and all of our little gifts are going to be inside it. The way we're going to do that is to use a hot knife and that's what I have in this box. I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm using. This one is by Walnut Hollow. I bought this several years ago at um, Walmart, I believe. But they carry them at most hobby shops, craft stores, things like that. And you can get one there. Or you can use a knife of any kind that you have, whatever you feel confident in cutting into this bottle with. Okay, so I've used a knife before. Um, but I'm not going to do that this time. I figured I had this hot knife, it might make it a lot simpler. So, what we're going to do is remove the outer piece. Now, you can just tear yours off if you want to and do um, cover, you're going to recover it with something to kind of hide that we're going to cut into the bottle. But um, for this one, I don't want to lose mine. I want to reuse it. So, I'm just going to do a quick cut down mine. Okay, that should have gotten it off. Let's see, well, it would probably been better if I hadn't done that. Oh, I thought I might be able to get it off if I pulled a different way. This is why I bought two bottles, because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get this one off, and I really wanted to use this label, because I want it to look like it's um, an unused Mountain Dew bottle. The reason is, the boy that we're giving this to, this is for a teenager, and he likes Mountain Dew, and he really doesn't need any stuff, you know, so I thought it would be fun to just give him something that he enjoyed. Hey, I did a pretty good job there. I just, I'll just i cover that back up in just a minute. But um, he loves Mountain Dew, so we figured we'd put Mountain Dew and some other things that he likes in the bottle, and that it would be, the presentation would be more the gift than, you know, other stuff you might buy. Okay, so there's my label all off. I'll put that aside because I'm going to stick that back on it. All right, now what we want to do is to cut like a C shape right where the label would go. You want it to be big enough that you can get your hand in it, okay, because you need to be able to put stuff in there. So just do your best. But cut in the area that you can cover. You know what I mean? Like, you want to be able to cover it with some scrapbook paper or something. I feel like my knife isn't quite hot enough yet. Just to show you that I am making some progress, I've got this far. The other side's already cut. There we go. Look at me. Yay! Okay, now you want to curve it some. Ah! And I feel like I might have wanted this to be a little bit bigger a curve, but or a little bit bigger an area for me to get my hand into, but I'm just going to make it work at this point. Like I said, I bought two bottles of this. So drink one or pour one out, and then, uh, then you're all good. I let mine dry for a few days. I washed it out. There is still some condensation inside it, but... Um, and there we go. Yay. All right, but I'm going to wipe it out. If I can, I'm going to do my very best to get it all out of there if I can get my hand in through here. So let's see. There is my cut. See? A little door. Ta-da! That's what you're trying to do. So just cut a little U and let's see if I can get my hand in there. Oh, definitely. See? Hand. All right, good. But it'll still look kind of hidden when we put the label back over it. It's going to be awesome. All right, you know what? Go get some packing tape or something like that. I used that last time when I made this one right here. See that one? Right there. I made this one. You can go find this on joyslife.com. I made this for my nephew, and it really kept him confused. He was about eight years old at the time, and he couldn't figure out how to get it open for a little while. It was kind of funny. Um, anyway, but let's get started putting the stuff in there. That's the fun part. Okay, I've just finished wiping out my two-liter bottle. Try not to cut yourself. Be careful if your plastic is sharp around the edges. My little heat tool that I was using over here. 
uh, helped kind of make it not so sharp on the edges, but you know, it might surprise me still. All right, the fun part is putting everything inside. I've got some pretzels that may or may not fit. He likes pretzels, so I thought we'd do that. There we go. So just do your best shoving things in there. Hey, it fit. Yay, 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 yay. Awesome. That's great. Can you believe that? I already have pretzels. And he likes Snickers, so we're going to stick those in there. Try to make a nice looking presentation, but you know what? Just do the best you can. Um, if you don't have enough stuff, then fill it with paper. Like scrapbook paper, shredded paper, stuff like that. And then this looks like a bazillion dollars, but it's just 20 ones. So um, I'm going to put ones in there because I thought that would be kind of fun. I really wanted to fit, yike, I really wanted to fit this in there, but I didn't cut the hole quite big enough. And my husband got a 16 ounce instead of a like a 12, which would have fit really well. So I kind of need to dig around in my craft room and find some more stuff to stick in here because my bottle's looking kind of slim. You wouldn't imagine that two liters would leave that much room, you know, after putting two Snickers and a thing of pretzels in there, but it does. So account for that. Either have something bulky like this, but smaller, or cut a bigger hole on the side. Or fill it with paper. That's what I'm going to do. Now my paper is shredded and crinkled and everything, so that'll help take up some space in this bottle. And I'll probably try to shove a Snickers bar up toward the top a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting. And this looks kind of hideous, but I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm not really doing my best. To be honest, I thought I had days more to get this done, but my son came home today or last night and he told me that the party is today. I did not realize that. So, uh, oops, well, whatever. So we're trying to just hurry and get it ready in time. I had this planned for quite a while. I should have done it sooner. We all do these things. So, hey, that's the way it goes. Now I may have too much grass in there. Let's pull some out. Well, you get the general idea. So I'm gonna finish shoving that in there. And now I need to get the money in there. One thing I don't want is for all this grass to, uh, get pulled out and all those one dollar bills to get thrown away with the grass so i need to make sure that they kind of show up if you go to my pinterest board i have the neatest pen about folding dollar bills into certain shapes or when i'm i think it's a heart anyway i'm not doing that today by the way this is for a, a little boy who is turning 15. so i am not going to fold all of his dollar bills into heart shapes because that would be uh, probably not that appreciated. I don't know. Then again, there's still dollar bills, right? All right, so I'm going to fold all these and stick them into the, into the thing. And then I'll probably stuff some more grass in there or whatever we want to call that, paper, when we're done. I always think it looks like Easter grass to me, so that's why I think grass. Plus, I made it green. So it's, I still feel like I need some more stuff in there, but I guess with $20 and some candy and pretzels, it's still lacking in my opinion, but um, I'm kind of out of ideas and stuff to shove in there right now. I'll try to think about it. Now I'm just going to tear off some packing tape and stick it to the bottle. We want to close up this part that is our little opening that we cut. So I want to make sure that I didn't cut too much, and I did, because I don't want it to stick out past the end of the label. And because I have that little line on there, I know how long my label is. Okay. So let me just pick up the little door part and try to pull it over a bit. Okay, that's good. Looking good, looking good. Okay, can you see that? It's hard to tell where it opens. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to add another little piece of tape here and then we'll put the label on. I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this. I wanted to use my ATG gun, but I'm afraid it'll tear at the paper. So I'm not sure that this is going to hold, but we're going to give it a shot. If you watched my video the other day, you saw this erupt on me. It was hysterical. All right. It doesn't normally erupt, but uh, because I dropped it, it bubbled up and went everywhere. It was so funny. All right. 
so I'm just going to try to line this up with the little tag where the little place it came off. Okay, this needs to be perfect. Stop moving. Hold on, let's drop this other side down. Not good. Okay. Uh huh. Glue on my hands. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I refuse to not let it be awesome. I bet my I bet I used the last time I did this. I bet I did use my ATG gun. It's starting to come back to me now. Right after I tried something new. But this sort of makes it look like um, it really was stuck on there from the factory. Okay, still trying to make it meet. That fiber tack did work, by the way. So I'm really happy with it. Alright, well, I have one little tiny seam, but I think it looks pretty darn good. What do you think? Kind of awesome. There's the seam. Not a lot I can do about that. Just kind of hope he doesn't notice. I'm going to try to stick down this little piece. Um, I'm going to be really careful about putting glue on that part. But then I'll just wipe off the excess because I've got some excess glue here. So it's not so apparent about what I did. Hey, that just comes right off. All right. Very good. I'll get the rest of that off in a second. But anyway, check that out. That is pretty neat. So that's how you make a little gift in a two liter bottle and as I showed you before if you look again right here you'll see that picture the one I made previously so you can use scrapbook paper you don't have to stick down the same label that came on the bottle or anything like that that's just my preference for this particular gift well I hope you enjoyed this episode of 52 and I hope you'll come and see me at joyslife.com and meet me back here for another video see you soon bye